Today I am going to teach how to make human eye using Stradler pencil HB with eraser. First of all, we will make a small circle. Always remember that never apply too much pressure on the on the paper. and we'll make another circle just below that little bit towards the right side this time it will be little bigger and one time again i'm saying never apply pressure on paper fine now we'll make another circle this time that will be around second circle make a circle with so so many small lines never try try to go for a complete circle at a stretch make so many small small lines so that you will get perfect round uh, if you are a beginner you can uh, use any round shaped objects so that you will get a good circle now we are going to make upper eyelid for that i am using a scale just to mark now we will make upper eyelid starting from the line which we made for reference and just above the third circle which is the iris and this time lower eyelid leave little bit gap between eyelid and the iris after finishing the outline let us erase the reference line and make the outline complete now erase of the extra portion which is over the upper eyelid now we will give little more detail for the upper eyelid again and again i am reminding you that never apply pressure to the paper when you are sketching even if it is in pencil drawing or if it is in any other drawing if you are making a sketch then you should never apply too much pressure to the paper what or any canvas anything else okay now we will give little bit details to the eyebrow see now i am adding little bit direction of the hair whenever we make hair you should think about the direction of the hair that will add up the life into the picture see all the hairs are not in same direction okay now we just finished the outline of the eyebrow now our sketching is over now we will give little bit shades the shades makes the two dimensional drawing to the three dimensional drawing first of all i am making pupil area darker because it is the deepest area light is not going to reflect so we are making that area dark make sure that the first circle we, which we made very firstly uh, to be left as it it is white because that is going to become our highlight later i will explain why it is lighter and the highlight is pupil will be the darkest area and 
now we will make this area little bit darker not more than that pupil add light shades because we can make it darker later stage and in the iris area this area will be the darker area an iris area not i am not talking about the pupil pupil will is a darkest area see just opposite that apply very little shade because that area we are going to left as the lightest shades in the iris for little bit deeper study i am making the iris sideways so we are looking into an eye from different angle till now we were making it from the front view now it is from the side view the shape of the iris is just like a saucer it is deeper inside and the side is little bit up and this is a cornea which is transparent so if a light comes from this side okay just imagine if a light comes from this side then that will create a highlight on this area as the cornea looks like saucer shaped the area which is beneath the highlight will be the darker area okay darker area the opposite side of the iris the light is falling on that area so that area we will give lighter shade this is the pupil that will be the darkest this is the eyeball which we can't see which is inside i'm just making for your reference and the, if the eyelid is there that will be like this so we can only see that triangle portion and the cornea i hope you understood if you have any doubt you ask in comment section so we'll continue with our shading make the lines concentric because the iris have so many ridges so we can make small small lines also so that will look very real i am adding little more shades to the iris area in this stage we can give little more pressure because adding darker shade and remember i am using hb grade pencil so it is not possible to make very very dark but with with that i am making maximum this is only a tip for the beginner so that you will be strong with the anatomy also with this small trick now itself you can see you can feel the three dimensional feeling
try so many times if it is not perfect in the first time you will be successful later also no issue keep trying keep practicing adding little bit details almost our shading of the eyeball is finished now let us give little shades to the corner so that the eye will look three dimensional so that the center portion of the eye will be higher and the outer portion will be the deeper natural look will be getting and this said keep in mind that there will be a small highlight so leave that area white add little bit very soft very very soft shades shade with very very little pressure never press too hard later if you want to make harder lines we can but at the stage of progressing we should not make that mistake make the details to the lower eyelid I am giving little darker lines now. There is a mistake. Let's go a little bit higher. See, mistake can happen, but you should avoid that. Now. Now I am making eyelashes. Direction of the hair that is very important. Different part, it will be different direction. Make one or two hairs at the different positions so that that will help us making more. keep adding more and more Yeah, it is fine. Make the lower portion little more darker. Add little bit shades. corner also and 
this time we'll make lower eyelashes same method different directional eyelashes to the different sides make one or two first and add extra not extra additional yeah that is it fine now now let us add more hairs to the eyebrows the direction of the hair is very important adding little darker lines Little more hairs. So that I should look real. Now let us add little bit shades. Add little bit shades to the lower eyelid so that that looks real the depth and height of the eye can be visible little bit shades to the upper eyelid also finishing touches to the iris I'm giving small lines over there so that the iris looks natural. Adding very minute lines to represent the blood vessels in the eyes. Very minute lines, okay. We are almost finished. See, this is the highlight. It's a darker area around the highlight, and this is the darkest area. The opposite side is lighter. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you have any doubt, please feel free to comment. I will explain to you. If you like my tutorial, subscribe my channel and press bell icon.